right, Frank, you're doing the speed limit, so that means you're up to something. And I'm about to find out what. No, don't turn red! Oh, great, great. Hello? Courtney, it's me. What's up? I need to see you right away. Are you, are you free? Where are you? The hospital. Okay, I'll be right there. Okay, thank you very much. All right, we're set. Two seats on the early bird flight to Philadelphia. We are going to find out what happened to your son. When I think about facing the doctor that delivered my baby, do I, do I just ask him point blank if he lied to me? Are you afraid he'll lie again? I'm afraid he's going to tell me that he was telling me the truth, and he's sorry I got my hopes up. Well, if that's all there is to this, then why do you hear the voice of a child calling for his mother? And why do I keep having visions of a boy who looks like your son might have? Those could be hallucinations, something that was planted in our brains during that missing chunk of time in Italy. And we thought Victor was dead in Italy. He's alive. Why couldn't your son be? You know what? Hmm. I should believe in miracles. I found you, didn't I? Yeah, hold the thought. Yes. Just stay there. I'm holding it. Good evening. Victor. Good evening. I'm feeling very well. Good evening. Good evening. Or maybe you can tell. I'm back. I'm back. I haven't lost the knack of healing in a hurry. And I'm sorry for your worry, but I'm back. I'm back. But how did you get over here? Where's Mary? Well, she's at home. Hello, Eve. Your illness? Completely under control. Therapies would halt his deterioration. They haven't, and we still haven't found a bone marrow donor. Just give me the bottom line, Joe. Well, when we spoke about having a baby to save Neil's life, I know it was hypothetical, but uh, we don't have any options now, Courtney. Can Neil last nine months? Well, his condition isn't concrete. I mean, we'll have to wait until the baby is born, and then we'll use the umbilical cord cells for his transplant. <sighs> Are you changing your mind about this? You know I would do anything for him. But there's a whole other life involved. A child who, who deserves to be raised with all the love we can give it. And that'll happen, I promise. This baby is going to be special to us. He's coming into the world with a gift of life. I can start making arrangements with Dr. Newman tonight. Is Neil still awake? He's reading Treasure Island. Courtney. Make the call, Joe. Dude. Mom. Hmm? Where have you been? I thought you were going to be here earlier. Oh, I had uh, something to take care of. Did you get lonely? No way. There are a million people here today. Hmm. Well, I hope they didn't wear you out. It's cool having people come by. It's so different from the last time I was sick and we didn't know anybody. Now I have all these friends and relatives. Like Karen and Serena. Yeah, and they love you a whole lot. Not as much as you and Dad. Mm -hmm. Well, Joe loved you. Way before he knew he was your father. Guess that's why it feels like he's been my dad forever. And nothing's ever going to change that. I promise you. Consultation for me and Courtney Canuck. Okay, we'll meet then. Thanks, Doctor. You decided to have the baby? 
Well, Neil's latest test results haven't given me much choice. And Courtney's ready for this? So far. Are you? Anything for Neil? Well, we both know this, this isn't just anything. When we discussed it before, I could see, well, I still see a lot of problems for us. So am I nervous you and Courtney are making your non-traditional family bigger? Yeah, I guess I am. Me too. But you have to do it, Joe. And you and I will deal with this together. Hey, 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 come on. No hand-holding. Hey. Don't you have anything better to do than snoop on your daughter? Lucy and the girls are safe. I'll make sure that you're safe. Joe's been keeping an eye on me. Or Diesel just made a direct threat that I'm taking very seriously. What did he say? Well, he said that no one in my family is safe. I about took his head off. Well, if you need me to help you reinforce that message, you let me know, okay? Dr. Scanlon to room 663. Dr. Oh. Joe Scanlon to room 663. Gotta go. Joe's turned out to be okay. I hope things are gonna work out with you two. Well, Neil's not getting better. The only chance he has to survive is a bone marrow transplant from a brother or sister. Well, he doesn't have a brother or sister. So that means Courtney has to get pregnant again. And Joe has to be the father. That's uh, kind of a tough one for you. I'm not going to walk away from Joe, not when he needs me the most. Of course not. Because you're my daughter. Mm. There's just so much unresolved between us, and now we have to put it all on hold. Well, don't you think Joe's going to appreciate this? I think we deserve some answers. Look, it's a bit complicated. Then I'll try and make it simpler. We already know that you were a government operative. With a specific and very difficult mission to neutralize a new opposition weapon, psychic espionage. Mind reading? No, it's more like mind connecting, making use of the deep emotional involvements that people can have with one another. To do what? And don't tell me it's, a, it's to get military secrets no, or no, something. No, 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 that was just the beginning. They're way beyond that now. They not only can tap into someone's mind, they can also alter it. Like implanting false memories from when we were in Rome. Accompanied with horrible emotions, which they can also instill. Is David Bordiso so involved in this? More to the point, is he the one... Is he the Cobra? How do you know about the Cobra? From you. When we found you on Jasmine Island, you kept muttering, the Cobra, the Cobra, the Cobra. Cobra's the code name for a renegade agent who is now managing their psychic research. And there is some circumstantial evidence that, yes, Bordiso could be Cobra. Well, if that's true, then that means D.V. knows your father's been working to stop him. Well, he does. He hasn't known for long. My cover wasn't blown until just before I went to Italy. Where we followed you and bad things started to happen. Yes, things that we can't remember because someone somehow erased our memories. Look, I'm so sorry. I don't want an apology, Victor. I want to know how to fight this. Late. What are you doing here? Just dropping off a couple of video games. Neil already knows you love him, Frank. You don't need to keep buying him expensive gifts. I just want my son to be happy. And healthy. How's he doing? Or a sister. <laughs> you know, um, I used to dream about having more kids someday. When I was married and settled, had the, <laughs> the white picket fence and everything. <laughs> you don't seem like the picket fence type. I guess I'm not. But I still have dreams. Um, at least I did until we all got sick. Now having another baby, it just feels... Uh, Disloyal to Neil? 
If you had another baby now, it wouldn't be to take Neil's place. It would be to save his life. But what if it doesn't work, Frank? What if we do this? Nothing works. How do you feel about the baby then? You wouldn't turn your back on a child. You have some rotten qualities, Courtney, but that isn't one of them. <laughs> hey. You know, it is difficult being a parent, but to do it well, that's a gift, and you have it. You know, I could say the same thing about you. I see how good you are with him, and he loves you so much. He loves Uncle Frank. Frank. I'm sorry. It has to be this way, but Neil's already lost one father. I can't take Joe away from him. I think it would bother Joe a lot more than it would Neil. That's what you're worried about. Upsetting Joe and losing him? Does it, uh, does it bother you, Courtney, using your kid that way? I am not using my son. You just said that Neil loves me. Why would it hurt him to know that I am his dad? Frank, I told you we're doing well, this for Neil. It's bull, Courtney, and I'm sick of it. You can't back out of our deal. I would do anything to save Neil's life, including having another baby with you. But this time, from the get-go, we tell the world that the kid is mine. Either you come clean with Joe or I will, and don't think that you can stop me. I knew you had the late shift, and I wanted to get you a nice, healthy dinner. Get your bear claw and a cup of coffee. Oh, wow. Well, I'm not really hungry, but thank you. What's the matter? You can't get out of your head that Joe and Courtney have to have another child? Well, Joe said it wouldn't change his feelings for me. Don't you believe him? I know Joe. He wouldn't settle for being a part-time dad. Look how he is with Neil. Yeah, well, that's true. You know, you add another kid into the mix, and you need... More than 24 hours in the day. Uh, Lucy and I found that out with Christina. But you do find time to get things done, and then when they're not around, you got all this other time to try and fill. Well, I wish there was something I could do so you could be with your family. I know, it's driving me nuts, you know. Christina's growing very fast now, and uh, I don't get to see that. And Serena wants to be in school with her friends, and I have to say no, and I miss the hell out of Lucy, and uh, it's just no way to live. Are you having second thoughts of taking them away? No, it was the right thing to do. So why is the right thing making you feel so lousy? Well, because sometimes you just have to forget about what's best for you and you think what's best for your family. The way Joe's doing with Neil. When you saw me lying in that morgue in Rome, it was a hastily improvised attempt to mislead you. I was trying to protect you. I thought if you believed that I was dead, you'd go home, but you didn't. And then the opposition kidnapped Eve. Wait, why did they kidnap me? Why didn't they take Kevin? Happenstance. I'm sure they would much have preferred Kevin, but you became an easier target. And also, they were well aware of how much I've come to care for you. They thought if they could tap into those feelings, they could find out where I was hiding. But instead, I made a mental link to Eve. Because they weren't expecting you. I have never been more proud of you in my life because of that link you were able to discover that Eve was being held in the catacombs. That's impossible. Not when two people love each other as much as you and Eve. Well, I'm almost afraid to ask what happened next. Well, I went to rescue Eve, and you followed me, and we were all captured. At that point, I offered to cooperate, provided that the two of you would be released unharmed. So then they wiped our memories clean, made us think that you were dead, and we wound up back in Port Charles. Wait, Victor, what about you? They let you go. Did you tell them your secret? After I was sure you were safe, I clammed up. As a matter of fact, the secret that they wanted, how to block ESP, is what I used against them. Then they tried to brainwash me, tried to convince me that there was no such thing as Cobra. I blocked that, too. At that point, they got a little annoyed with me, and that's when they started withholding my medication. And the Cobra is real? 
Very much so, I'm afraid. All right, fine. But there are still gaps that we need to fill, Victor. For instance, I keep having visions of a young boy. We think he could be my son. I gave birth a while back, and my baby died. D.V. was the father of my baby. And I didn't think he knew about it, at least... I didn't think he knew. Are you telling me that now you think Boy Diesel knows that you were pregnant with his child? Not only that, but I'm afraid he knows that I gave birth and my baby died. Is it possible that D.V. could be torturing Eve by, by planting a ghost or something like that in her mind? We are up against a highly organized, very powerful espionage organization. Who can burrow into our heads. Victor, we have to get them out. Oh, my God. What? If my son is alive, could D.V. have had him all these years? Adam's keeping a secret. Once those lab tests come back on Colby's stem cells, they're going to point out that Jake is not her daddy. And his marriage depends on it. Jake and I are giving Colby's cells to Dimitri. You can't go through with it. This is not your decision to make. How far will Adam go to cover his tracks? Nobody outsmarts me. Escape with all my children, ABC Daytime. Eve? Eve, slow down. What if my son is alive? And D.V.'s had him all this time. D.V. hates me. He could have taught my son to hate me, too. It's more likely that he's trying to hurt you by making you think your son is alive. Is that possible, Victor? Could this be just all in my mind? While I was being held captive, once I thought I saw... A young boy, maybe nine, ten years old. Guess how old my son would be. You said you thought you saw a boy. Well, I, it was about that time they started withholding my medication. I'm not sure what was real and what isn't. All I know for sure is there are no answers for you now in Philadelphia. Victor, you saw something in Italy. There must be more you can tell us. Victor, please. We need your help. We won't go to Philadelphia. We'll do whatever you ask. If it means I can be with my son. off at an insurance company. Good choice, Frank. <laughs> Are you still worrying about Bordiso? Karen, if you're going to tell me to back off, you can forget that. Nope, nope, nope. You've got something cooking in that brain of yours, and I want to help. I don't remember that much about my mother. I just know she was tough, like a granddaughter. I'm sure she'd be proud of you now. Hey, Scott. Hey, Joe. Anson, I'm sorry to hear about Neil. I, I hope that your plan to get Courtney pregnant again does the trick. Toughest decision I've ever made, you know? Yeah. Glad that Neil's my kid. And... I have to do whatever I can to keep from being hurt. Scott was saying the same thing. Yes, you have to do what you have to do for your family. Thanks for understanding. I do, Joe. I really do. Oh, pull the charge for you on uh, uh, Aaron Sawyer's for that. Okay. Come back to me. Sure. Okay. Here. Excuse me. I'm at the hospital. Christina and I were in a car accident. Someone got into Karen's place tonight. They really did a number on it. 
that kiss. There, there was. A... Did you sleep with him? Dirty Kitty, she's gone. You've got to stop worrying about the rules. They don't mean anything to Bordiso. He uses them only to mess with your head. If you're going to protect your family as well as you need to, you've got to be just as ruthless as he is. Don't worry about any rules. You're Lloyd Bentley's son. His blood courses through your veins, and since he's dead, you pay. So, what are we going to do about this DV character? It's not what we're going to do. It's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do it alone. Weekdays on Good Morning America. Catch a morning star with Diane Sawyer and Charles Gibson. Get a head start. Get a fresh start. Start smart. Only on Good Morning America. Chat with pop sensation Britney Spears. Tonight at 6 Eastern Time on ABC.com. Part of the Go Network.